Hi everyone, it's Giselle with another message for today and I want to talk about the feelings that I've been having and I've then been meditating on them so that I can gain clarity and anyone who is drawn to this message I always put the intention for every video I post that whoever needs to hear this message right now will be given the message at the right time so the main energy I've been feeling today from the counterparts is I want this as much as you do and again today I've had a ton of confirmations about this not only feeling wise but I was sat outside a, an office building that had my twin flames name on it and I didn't do this on purpose. I, I didn't even remember that it was there. I remember passing by and seeing it at one point, but it must have been a subconscious thing because I didn't remember it was there. I was just sitting and listening to a podcast and trying to uh, soak up some sun, you know, try and catch a bit of color and not make my life, myself look so pale. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was interrupted by this family there was a mum and two kids and she just stopped dead in her tracks and started pointing at this building that i wasn't aware of and she goes to her son oh my god can you believe it look 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 and then the son read out the name of the building and she was laughing hysterically and he goes ah you should live there you should live there and i thought my goodness had they not pointed that out, I may not have noticed that I was sat right opposite and I chose that spot to sit. Well, I didn't choose it. It was kind of chosen for me because I wanted initially to sit somewhere else. There was three places I was going to sit and they were all um, occupied and I didn't really feel confident to just plot myself in the center of, of two people, you know, sitting on a bench where I thought, oh, that's a bit awkward. I'm going to find somewhere where I can sit peacefully and have a bit of room because I don't want to sit too close in close proximity with, with strangers, you know, <laughs> not just because I find it a bit awkward, but also the energies. I don't want to soak up energies as I'm trying to meditate um, while sitting in the sun. So this building was just blatantly being pointed out by this family who were just laughing about it. And I thought, oh my God, do you know what? Th this is this crazy, you know, but all these kind of signs and synchronicities keep happening. And then also subconsciously, I've been drawn to buying white outfits, like white play suits, white dresses, white maxi dresses even, and... Then I thought to myself, hold on a moment, what's this? <laughs> and I wasn't even sort of consciously aware. But now that I look at it, they, they all have this wedding vibe about them. And I'm thinking, oh my god. Well, <laughs> my subconscious is, is clearly drawn to these things for a reason. And um, this full moon period too is such a strong time for manifestations this is the message i keep hearing is sacral chakra activated manifestation use this you know this beautiful energy to manifest all of your dreams into reality and yeah it's <laughs> so funny but i know why i'm drawn to to wearing white clothing <laughs> and it's not just you know it's not just like a plain white shirt or jeans it's it's actually very occasion wear looking you know like very festive looking very special you know embroidery sort of lace and 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 delicate floral lace and all of these really beautiful fabrics and satin and things like that and then I thought about it I thought, oh well wow okay my subconscious is telling me something <laughs> but yeah it's it's really beautiful and so I have this very loving um, energy that I can feel around. Also, I keep hearing the summer of love every time. I even stumbled upon a letter that I wrote to the universe. I, was, I think it was last summer. 
and I, I remember writing this is my summer of love, but I forgot all about it. And I was just about to find, um, you know, I wanted to look through my notebooks to find some scrap piece of paper that I could use to write something on. And that sentence, this is my summer of love, was just caught my eye and was, you know, out of all of the things that I could have read out, that was the one thing that stood out to me again I wasn't looking for it it was just there you know when your eyes are just drawn to one particular thing on a page that was the one sentence out of all of the letters I wrote so many letters to the universe but out of all of the letters that I wrote out that was the one sentence that stood out to me and I know that that's my higher self my soul leading me in a direction to tell me something I mean all of the things that have been happening with dreams too I may not always remember the dream, but I know the energy of us being together is there. And I know the energy of the dream that I had the other night where we felt distant from each other. This is telling me you need to work on making things feel more real, making things feel like they are going to happen and that you need to integrate this relationship full time in your life. Because I know myself from experience, it's so easy to become used to being single and used to just living your life on your terms and just not being in a physical connection. And so you just do everything for yourself, you just shop for yourself, you just stay up late and don't consider anything, just do whatever the heck you want to do. But I want to do more things that incorporate togetherness, to have that full time, to have that all the time, because that's what I want. And if that's something you want, you also need to, you know, you don't need to necessarily have a drawer. I mean, that's nice, you know, to have a little drawer available that they can put their clothes in. But not even that. You can just have the feeling of being ready and available on a Sunday morning to just have the time to cuddle <laughs> and and things like that you know and I just I don't know the energies have been very I don't know how to describe it. it's like yes there's this energy of cutting out stuff you know doing an emotional reshuffle and clear out emotionally clearing out and cutting out things that no longer serve you but then there's also this very soft and romantic energy and I guess it, it sort of shows itself in, in the things that I've chosen for myself lately. The, the clothes that I was drawn to, they're just so sweet and and romantic looking. And, and before I would be drawn to more quite edgy looking things, I guess, and quite, you know, not edgy, I, I don't know, like cool and quite, yeah, um definitely not soft and and romantic and but these these items just look so perfect for ah I don't know a honeymoon <laughs> they just look so amazing and that's the kind of energy I'm feeling it's it's really soft and really gentle and, and beautiful and I guess the energetic clear out makes sense because you need to energetically cut out any feelings that just don't belong in your new life. If you wanting to create a life full of romance, full of joy and bliss, then you need to cut out um, energetically all the clutter, all of the pain, the heartache, the things that just didn't work for you anymore. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that because I just love being able to encourage people you know to embrace their true selves I, I know that this time that I've taken out to develop myself because I've consciously not wanted to date anyone I just took it out you know because T building this business has taken up so much of my time and studying and everything too so I thought you know I don't want to I don't want to go out with people that 
don't resonate with me and waste their time as well as my own. And I'm glad I didn't do that all throughout the, the time that I was in separation because I spent it working on myself, developing myself and finding myself again. And I find that the version I am now is so much closer to how, who I wanted to be before. Because um, you tend to get lost, especially when you've been in long-term relationships and or even just going out with different people, you pick up their energies and it's important to feel centered and find yourself and then be ready, be 100% yourself to then share yourself with the love of your life. So yeah, I thought I would share this message and I hope it resonates for people. If you'd like to connect with me, book a reading, healing, love letter, coaching, meditation, any sort of service. I mean, I've got more probably <laughs> um, on my website as well as my full moon offers that are just on um, my description box for YouTube um, clients. And yeah, it's um, three for two. So you buy two and you get your third one free, saving you 33% on your little bundle. If you like your healing during the new moon, oh no, I keep messing these up. I keep saying new moon for full moon and vice versa. How annoying. <laughs> if you'd like your healing during the full moon period, it's on tonight, tomorrow night and the night after, then please um, let me know that it's, um, you know, something that you want to do now. And if you order by the 17th, then yes, they'll be done during the new moon energy, ugh, full moon energy. See, I keep doing this. Sorry. Um, but thank you all so very much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.